difference. Santa Maria Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, where your happiness is my guarantee. January 1st brought us to a new phenomenon, the first of the Generation Xers. Those born between 1965 and 1980 officially turned 50. And that includes yours truly, who turned 50 just last week. And I wanted to know what to expect and how other women feel about this new phase of life. The fabulous faces of women turning 50 in 2015, from celebrities to comedians. 50 is the new 30. And you know what? I did my own calculations. <laughs> and you know what? In dog years, I am dead. <laughs> So turning 50 is some of the things that I need to consider. To ordinary women like me. Women of this generation are facing new challenges and new possibilities. Well, at this point, We're a different breed, according to women's health expert, Dr. Sharon Goldberg. 50 really is the new 40, so don't look at it as something that um, the sky's about to fall in. All right, well, here we are, halfway done. Easier said than done, for many women approaching the big 5-0, it can feel a little like looking out of an airplane from 18,000 feet up, like it's all down from here. You know, a lot of us as mothers put ourselves last. So the first thing you need to consider is make sure that you go to see your doctor for an examination and that you're getting all the appropriate testing. That makes sense. Planning for the physical changes as well as the financial. The biggest challenge that women have is the transition that they have to starting to think about themselves. Alejandro Ochoa is a financial planner who advises many women about making that jump into a new decade. He says more and more women are using their increasing financial power to reinvent themselves after 50. Retirement isn't just a number that you need to save up for. It's really identifying what is it that you want to accomplish when you get there. And um, if you can work on building that vision now, the, the, the likelihood of success is much higher. Kathleen Zisser had the foresight to do just that. Like many women, she spent most of her life until now raising children while building a career, in her case, a successful medical practice. We have spent all of our life in this creative um, path of raising children and being fertile and putting our energy that way, where when that ends, where does that energy go? For Zisser, it meant downsizing to a smaller home office, incorporating her fascination with Eastern medicine into her Western medical practice, and realizing a lifelong dream of going to fashion design school. So I understand you guys are um, like one of the only people in California that can do the 18,000? Correct. For this reporter on the edge of 50, it didn't mean realizing a lifelong dream of jumping out of a plane from 18,000 feet off a lifelong fear of heights. And Zisser voiced my sentiments about turning 50 perfectly. I think I feel in myself a, an incredible wisdom that keeps growing and I wouldn't want to go backward, you know? I mean, I just can't imagine having to learn all those things again. I mean, and it's a self-knowledge. I think we get to really know ourselves well. Congratulations! Oh my God! Yes, you guys, happy birthday! Thank you! Great! Oh my God! So don't fear 50, it's pretty nifty. That's how you <laughs> leap into the next phase of life. It is, I'm very excited for the next phase. How was the jump? The jump was awesome. No more fear of heights. Wow. Well, not for now. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, good stuff. Let's go to the First Alert Weather Center. Jason has a look at our forecast. Very cool story there. Thank you very much. Paula, well, we'll look outside with this beautiful photo that Rudy Ramos sent in during the morning last week from Santa Maria. Beautiful look there. It's great when we have a few high clouds. We have too many low clouds. Tough to see this. Thank you very much, Rudy, for sending that photo in. When we have any kind of weather going on,